So guys, welcome back to another video, and welcome to my Team of the Week 30 predictions. In the past week, some teams have played twice due to some midweek fixtures, so there is a chance we could see more than one player from one team in the upcoming Team of the Week. It's an unlikely happening, but it is possible. And before we get into things, I just want to tell you all about a video that I uploaded yesterday morning. It's titled, How Can EA Improve the Team of the Week? And it's pretty much what the title suggests it is. It's a video where I put forward some suggestions of things that EA could do to help generate more interest in Team of the Weeks of the future. I really would appreciate it if you guys could check that video out once you've finished watching this video. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Also, you can get to that video by clicking the I button in the top right corner of the screen. Anyway, Enough about that, let's now look ahead to Team of the Week 30, so without further ado, in the comments below, let me know who you think could get an inform on Wednesday, and if you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Since it's Team of the Week 30, let's try and smash well over 300 likes. So before we get into my predictions, let's quickly chat about some potential informs. These are the players who I think could feature in the upcoming Team of the Week, but haven't made it into my 23-man prediction, either due to me just not being able to find space for them, or just me deciding not to include them. We'll start by talking about Ian Oblak. Now, he had a pretty busy week. He made 8 saves in Atletico Madrid's loss to Barcelona, and he also made 4 saves in Atletico Madrid's win against Girona. So, uh, a big week for Ian Oblak, and he actually put in big performances in both games games despite being on the losing end in one of them. Um, the Bundesliga win winger Raman he got himself two goals in a 2-1 win against Hertha Berlin. Um, Kavlan, a left back from the Eredivisie, got two goals in a 2-0 win. It was really hard not to include him, but I had too many silvers. Anderson Taliska scored twice in a win for his side. Jamie Vardy got two goals in a win for his side. Hamdala, the Saudi League striker, got a hat-trick, but once again, I just couldn't find space for him. And then finally, Jeff Rene Adelaide got himself two goals and an assist in um, a free all draw. Okay, so let's get into things. Let's get into my 23-man Team of the Week 30 prediction. The goalkeepers I've gone for this week are Ben Lacostil, who could get his third in form of FIFA 19, and CSK Moscow's Akin Thief. Um, ben Lacostil made five saves in a 2-0 win for his side against Marseille. His side uh, were down to 10 men for the final 10 minutes, and they were really up against it, but they managed to get the shutout, and Costil claimed a clean sheet. He also got a good match rating, and that's why I've included him this week. The other goalkeeper I've gone for is the Russian Akinfev. He made six saves in a 2-0 win for his side against Spartak Moscow. Obviously, this was the Moscow derby, and with it being such a big game in Russia, I do feel like it will generate an inform. Moving on to the defenders then, we'll start by talking about that Phil Jagielka card because I want to get that one out of the way as quick as possible. Jagielka got the only goal in Everton's 1-0 win against Arsenal. A goal and a clean sheet for him could be enough to see him get an inform. And I've got to say, like that game was really gutting to watch. I really think that's put a massive dent in um, Arsenal's top four hopes. I'm absolutely gutted uh, with that result. Um, I actually thought Lucas Digne was absolutely brilliant in that game, so I think he probably deserves the inform more, but Jagielka got the goal, so I think he could be favoured to get the inform this week. Um, Bonucci is up next. He got himself a goal in Juventus' 2-0 win against Cagliari. He also got a 7 rating on Gazetta, so that's why I've opted to include him. Not really confident in that pick, but uh, nonetheless, I do feel that a Juventus player will feature in Team of the Week 30. The final player on this page is Dante. He got himself a goal and he helped his side keep a clean sheet in a 1-0 win against Montpellier. He was also the man of the match in this game and I think he's more likely than the other two centre-backs to feature in Team of the Week 30. On the next slide, we have a couple of decent-looking cheapish uh, midfield options. Over on the left, we have Inter Milan's Gagliardini. He scored twice in a 4-0 win for Inter Milan. Um, against Genoa. He also got a 7.5 match rating on Gazetta, and I think it's likely that he features in Team of the Week 30. One player who I'm very confident will feature in the upcoming Team of the Week is the Saudi winger in the middle of the page. He scored three times and got an assist in a 4-1 win, so I think it's very likely that we'll see him get a special card on Wednesday, and it's definitely deserved. Uh, the final player on this page is Sarabia. Now, he could get himself another inform, and his headliners card could be upgraded in the next few days. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 2-0 win. He also got a very high match rating, and that's the reason 
I've included him in my predictions. Um, that card looks amazing by the way, so his headliners card could potentially look even better. Moving on to the next page, we'll start by talking about Burnley's midfielder Westwood. He got himself a goal and an assist in a very important win for Burnley against Bournemouth. That game ended in a 3-1 win for Burnley and like I said, it was an important three points for that side. Um, in the middle of the page is Karim Benzema. He got himself two goals in a 2-1 win for Real Madrid against Ibar. Also midweek, he scored in a loss to Valencia. And the week before, he got himself a goal and an assist. This guy right now is the definition of an informed player. And after his two goals against Ibar and a very good match rating, I feel like he could feature in Team of the Week 30. The final player on this page is Ilicic. I'm pretty confident he's getting an inform this week. And if he does, that card's going to be amazing. He scored twice in a 4-1 win uh, against Bologna and he also got an 8.5 on Gazetta. That match rating is huge and I think that all but guarantees his spot in the upcoming Team of the Week. I would be very shocked to see him not included in Team of the Week 30. On the next page, we start off with a very pacey Colombian in the form of Quinones. He got himself two goals in a 2-0 win for Tigre against Pumas. Um, he also got a very high match rating and that's the main reason I've gone for him this week. There are a lot of hat-tricks um, that have been scored in the past week so maybe um, he'll be excluded but um, he got a really high match rating and that's why I had to include him this week. The player in the middle of the page is Belfordil. In my opinion he should have gotten in form last week but um, he didn't unfortunately but I feel like he'll definitely get one this week. He scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 win against Augsburg. Um, the final player on this page is Mateta. He got himself a hat-trick in a 5-0 win against Freiburg. So I feel like we could be seeing quite a few Bundesliga players in the upcoming Team of the Week. On the next page, we have three silver players who could potentially be upgraded to gold cards in Team of the Week 30. Over on the left, we have the Argentinian Buzat. He got himself a hat-trick in a 4-0 win for his side. In the middle, we have uh, the Mayoral. He got two goals from a centre-back role in a 4-0 win. Two goals for a centre-back and a clean sheet. That is really hard to ignore as a Team of the Week predictor. But um, I do have to say I'm not that confident in that pick. But um, it's just hard to leave out a centre-back who scores twice and gets a clean sheet. Uh, the final player on this page is Rossi. He got himself a hat-trick in a 4-0 win for LA against DC United. On the penultimate page, we have three potential informs who I'm really on the fence about. I'm not confident in any of these picks, but I'm going to go for them nonetheless. So we'll start by talking about um, M. Barber. He got himself two assists in a big win for his side um, against Valencia. Two assists in a 2-0 win. He also got a high match rating, and that's why I've opted to include him. In the middle of the page, we have a potential inform Jordan Henderson. He got himself a goal and an assist off the bench in Liverpool's 3-1 win against Southampton. Liverpool came from behind to win this game and it was a very big game um, for Liverpool and they had to win it to keep pace with Manchester City. The final player on this page is the Turkish striker Diagne. He got himself a hat-trick in a 3-0 win for his side. Now it's worth noting, two of them goals were penalties. So that's why I'm unsure about including him. However, he got a very high match rating and that's why I just couldn't not include him. I hope that makes sense. And now we arrive on the final page of my predictions this week. On this slide, we have ourselves a potential third in form Robert Lewandowski, a potential first in form Isaac, and I believe that's a potential third in form Belotti. Let's start by talking about Robert Lewandowski. He scored twice as Bayern Munich beat Borussia Dortmund 5-0. This was a huge result in the Bundesliga and it's put Bayern Munich top of the table. Now in this game, Hummels got himself a goal and he claimed the clean sheet so he could get the inform instead and Serge Gnabry got himself a goal and an assist. But I've opted to go for Robert Lewandowski because uh, when I watched the game, he was really freaking good and he also scored an absolutely fantastic goal. So those are the reasons I've gone for him. Anyway, moving on to the middle of the page, we have ourselves a potential first in form, Isaac. He got himself two goals and two assists in a 4-3 win on Tuesday, and he also scored in his side's 4-1 loss to Ajax um, on the weekend. He got the Eredivisie Player of the Week award this week, and that's why I've included him. The final player on this page is Bellotti. He got himself two goals in a 2-1 win for his side against Sampdoria. He also got an 8 match rating on Gazetta and those are the reasons I've included him this week. 
So guys, those are my predictions for Team of the Week 30. Let me know your thoughts on them in the comments section down below. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Let's try and smash that 300 like target. Um, yeah, if you've got nothing to do now, um, I'd really appreciate it if you could go watch my How EA Could Improve Team of the Week video. Like I said at the start of the video, that video will be linked in the description and it'll also be available if you click the i button in the top right corner. Thanks for watching guys and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.